Assam is a land of peace and serenity. It has always enchanted us with its mystical beauty. From the high hills drenched in greenery to majestic rainforests, it seems that Mother Nature has blessed the people here with all her benevolence. Along with her other sister states of Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Nagaland, Mizoram, Meghalaya and Tripura, Assam forms the seven sisters of northeast India. Assam is irrigated by the mighty Brahmaputra River, which links India to its neighboring countries of China, Bangladesh and Bhutan. As the massive river winds along its path, forests of sal, tea and other valuable timber trees crop up along its banks. People here engage in animal husbandry and cultivate crops along the valley of the river. Tea is also grown in abundance, which has equally contributed to enhancing the state's economy and earned it fame throughout for their Assamese black tea all over the world. The state is recognized for its rich culture and is home to a variety of unique animals and diverse ecosystems. In the pleasant biodiversity zones, the well-planned national parks and sanctuaries of Assam, the mountains and lush grassy plains promise to thrill any visitor. Assam is home to the renowned Kaziranga Wildlife Sanctuary, where people from all over the world come to see and study its inhabitants. The one-horned Indian rhinoceros being one of the prominent attractions here. Another famous but rare animal of Assam is the pygmy hog, which is the closest relative to the Eurasian pig. The species is highly endangered but is found throughout various sanctuaries of the state. Today the species is at the brink of extinction and the Assam government is making tremendous efforts to save it. Every festival is celebrated in Assam with great pomp and show, with Bihu being one of the most important of all Assamese festivals. It is the biggest cultural occasion for the people of Assam, secular in concept and is intimately connected with farming and agriculture. Being the most important festival of the Assamese people, it is celebrated by all Assamese irrespective of class and creed. The auspicious Bihu festival comes in a series of three prominent occasions. Its three forms are the Bohang Bihu or Rongali Bihu, Kati or Kangali Bihu, and the Mag Bihu or Bhogali Bihu. All are celebrated to mark the seasons and all significant points of a cultivator's life over a year. Bohak Bihu marks the new year and seeding time of the paddy crop. The Kati Bihu represents the completion of its sowing and transplanting, whereas the Mag Bihu signifies the end of the harvesting period. The people of Assam celebrate Mag Bihu in the middle of January when the paddy fields are empty and the stores of farmers filled with rice and pulses. As at this time of the year the granaries of the farmers are full, it calls for a grand celebration, merrymaking and feasting on typical homemade delicacies. Women in every house are seen pounding their best rice to a powder with a handmade tool called the dheki. And this powder is then dried for making all the delicious fare of the Mag Bihu festival. 
Young boys can be seen in groups, gaily dressed and forming circles in the midst of which pretty Assamese girls dance. The day before Bihu is called Uruka and it starts with community fishing. At dawn, people gather at all rivers, lakes and ponds to fish in massive groups. Special ponds meant for fishing are kept untouched the whole year round and are fished in only on this day. After the community fishing, these people begin erecting little huts called bhelaghars with bamboo, hay and dry leaves. While the women make a variety of food items, the most popular one is pita, a roll made of sesame seeds, jaggery, rice powder and coconut. At night, community feasts are arranged with local delicacies and a variety of fish and meats inside the Belaghar huts. The huts are then burnt the very next day on the occasion of the main Marg Bihu day. Alongside the feasting parties, a variety of amusement and sporting activities are planned at Rangghars. Rangghars are actually the amusement areas which date back to the 16th century and were built by kings to indulge in a range of royal sports. The pavilion has been set up for activities like bullfighting, bird fights and many such traditional games for over 600 years. Bullfighting has attracted great interest from all parts of India and thousands of people reach the arena to witness these fights. The event starts with a couple of bulls which the farmers bring to the fighting grounds to flaunt their strength and ability. The bets are not too high and the event is held purely for entertainment. The massive fight continues until either of the bulls gets hurt or runs away from the ground. But these fights are now being banned in many places to prevent this brutality towards animals. Marg Bihu brings together the people of Assam from all walks of life and is celebrated as a community festival of togetherness and brotherhood. <laughs>